Hi, my name's Shay and I'm here to talk today about something that comes up a lot with women and something that came up in me as well in the past. Um, friend, friends bring this to the table, women that I work with as well. And it's about how we, in partnerships with the masculine, so women um, with a masculine energy, whether that's a man or even a woman with a masculine energy, um, if that's the partnership we're in, how we can even have trouble finding partnership, finding this sense of um, bringing a masculine into our lives, or if there's one there, feeling that uh, polarity, feeling that beautiful dance of energy together, and how it can really be hard and feel like we have um, this sense of yeah, difficulty finding partnership or creating partnership that feels like there's a flourishing and feels like we can be in our feminine. So there's a reason why this is happening. There's a reason why we're having uh, trouble finding that masculine partner or having feeling this energy of the masculine in our partnerships. And a lot of it has to do with the reason that we are not making room for the masculine, that there's something within us actually that is resisting that energy to come in. So these energies that are within us all of the time, I've expressed this in other videos, they're always dancing. And those energies are in us whether we're women or men. We each have masculine and feminine. Now in the world, in the way that the world um, is, in the systems, structures, society and culture, we've learned, men and women, how to be more in our masculine. And that's great. We've developed this capacity to hold, to create, to solutionize, to focus, to have this uh, masculine energy to allow us to do life. And that's needed. We honor that. This is not about creating separation. But when it comes to sparking attraction, when it comes to having this energy of a beautiful and harmonious dance between another, when it comes to intimate relationships, then we need polar energies. We need there to be this dance of the two, whether that's the man in his masculine, the woman in her feminine, or whether that switches, because it does moment to moment. But it's there's a... a feeling that um, if we're not consciously working with these energies or aware of them, then we'll be butting heads. We'll be in our masculine as women and asking for that man to be in his masculine, but then it'll go boom, rather than that beautiful attraction and melting and dancing. Think about magnets, the polar opposites, attract, they connect, because they can see outside of themselves what that energy wants to dance with. The feminine witnesses the masculine and feels held by the masculine, so it can flourish and dance in that stillness, in that presence. The same thing, the masculine presence and stillness loves witnessing the feminine flow and the softness. And so this is what the dance is about, and this is what attraction is about. And this is why we need to understand what these energies are so we can actually step in and out of them and choose. So this is the point. This is why we have such trouble as women to find that masculine energy or to really feel like, why isn't this energy coming in? Why can't I find a masculine man? I mean, all men have masculine in them, of course. But ask yourself, are you allowing space for that energy? Or are you already full of your masculine energy so there's no space for that to come in outside of you? A key indication is if you feel like you're always holding, controlling, that you can do everything yourself, that you don't need someone else to help you, that you don't need the masculine to come in and offer solutions to things. If you've got it, then there's a little bit there of resisting the masculine energy. It doesn't mean that you don't have the capacity to do all the things. Of course you do as a woman, we're powerful. But are you allowing yourself to surrender to that masculine to come in and hold you? Or are you still holding on? So it's in the surrender. 
It's in the moments where you can ask another, actually, are you able to do this for me, please? Not because you're throwing that task to them so that you can be lazy, not because you can't do it, but because you're inviting their masculine to rise up and offer you that gift of their service. It's a beautiful thing. I started to do this actually with my own dad. I noticed that I was being a little bit uh, resistant to him helping. The masculine loves to love by offering solutions and holding. And I thought that it was a loving thing that I could show my dad that all the things he taught me, you know, um, especially this particular circumstance was around dealing with a, an issue with my car. He taught me how to change the oil and do all the things when if he wasn't there to help me with it, then I could do that myself. And that was his way of loving me. And so there would be moments where I was with him and he would say, this is when I lived closer to him and I would go and visit. And he would go and check my car and, you know, how's your oil? How's this? And there'd be moments where I'd say, oh, no, it's all good. I've done that. I've checked that. But I wasn't then offering space for him to come in and love me in his way, which was going and doing those things for me. That was his offering of love. That was him stepping into that masculine and feeling his power with me. And when I started to understand these energies, I realized that. And so when he next offered the next time I visited him, you know, how's your car going? How's this and that? I said to him, I'd love for you to, to check it out if you'd like to. And I saw him grow taller. I saw him ground into this like powerful energy. And I felt myself receive that energy from him. And it felt beautiful. And it's the same with a partner. You know, there's times when, especially in my past, when I did have issues around controlling my life and food, especially, you know, I had this disorder in my past and this was coming from control and rigidity. And I actually found it in past relationships really difficult to even let my partners choose what we were having for dinner and, um, you know, especially in my life right now, we order a lot in, um, in Bali. There's just beautiful, amazing food and it's quite cheap to order outside and we're very busy. So we love to order in. And, and even in my past partnership where I was still a little bit rigid, not quite in this full claiming feminine, I felt it really hard to allow him to do that for me. So instead stepping into this new role, this new partnership where I really wanted to keep practicing this embodied feminine and to keep stepping into this beautiful dance and masculine feminine together, I would say to him, can I surrender the food options to you tonight? And he would say yes and he would order and he would do the things and I wouldn't even um, give him the the preferences of the things that I would want. And that would be a little scary for me because I was so used to having control, but it would also feel deliciously like, oh, restful and beautiful. And in those moments, you know, the rest of our dynamic, usually that evening, was that I was more dropped into my feminine and he was more in his masculine, just from that little task. So I just offer this to you now. Where are you still holding on? Where can you let go and make space for that mas masculine to come in? Knowing that it's not that you need them and you don't have this. It's not that you're asking them to do the things out of uh, an obligation that they have to do them. It's that actually a lot of the time the masculine way to love is to hold. So where can you be held? How can you allow yourself to be held more? Knowing that that is also a powerful thing. If this is sparking something within you and you want to dive deeper, especially when it comes to relationships and the masculine feminine dance in relationships, then contact me. This is work that I love to do with women one-to-one. -one. We do dive into it in the online immersions I offer and the retreats with women in Bali, but also online um, coaching and guidance is what I really love to dive into with women. So you can contact me on my website. All of the links are wherever you're seeing this video. Everything is there for you to follow to that website. 
and I'd love to hear from you and support you in this beautiful dance. Thank you.